Hello, Red Caboose Motel family, and welcome to another edition of Trains with Tyler. Today I'm excited to have you join us again as we return to a fan favorite episode, Freight Car Folly. Today's episode is going to be a little bit different because we're going to use a steam locomotive instead of a diesel engine. So that has some challenges built in. Most specifically, there's only one coupler on the steam engine and it's located on the back of the tender, whereas the diesel locomotive we used a few episodes ago had a coupler on both the front and the back. So it's gonna be a little bit more challenging. I've rigged up a different camera angle so that you're gonna have a better perspective of the layout as we go through this exercise. Hope you enjoy. Let's look at the starting lineup and then we will also go over the lineup that the cars will be in when we finish. Come on and join me. Starting at the back of the train is the caboose, tank car, blue box car, trailer car, lumber car, yellow box car, white box car, NASA Husky Stack car, and Pennsylvania steam engine number 7010. Here's a picture I found of locomotive 7010 crossing the Susquehanna River in Sunbury, Pennsylvania. The locomotive is a consolidation H10S and it was built between 1913 and 1916. On the return trip, the train will be headed by steam engine number 7010, then the tank car, Then the trailer car, white box car, blue box car, lumber car, yellow box car, NASA Husky Stack car, and last but certainly not least will be the caboose. And this time when we are finished assembling the train or reassembling the train I should say, we will park it on that siding that the train is parked on right now. Wish me luck, here we go.
we did it. It took a while. I hope you didn't forget to feed the meter, but we got the train rearranged into the correct order. Excellent job. As you could see in there, there are a few times where you have to suspend disbelief. Uh, the locomotive uh, found a dead spot on the track a few times and needed a little bit of persuading, so I had to use my superhuman strength to advance it on the track a little bit until it turned back on. Uh, there's also apparently a dirty switch here in the mountain. Uh, every time the train would go around in a certain direction, the pilot wheels, which are the two wheels up front, uh, would jump the track, and if not corrected, it would cause the whole layout to, to blow a fuse, and we certainly don't want that. So the bottom line is we got the job done, we persisted, we saw it through. Thank you for joining me. For more fun videos, stay tuned to our Facebook and YouTube pages. Also, go to redcabooseMotel.com, learn all about the property, find your own caboose to sleep in for the night. We are accepting reservations 24-7. And be sure to check out Casey Jones's restaurant located at the Red Caboose Motel, best pulled pork in town. Again, redcabooseMotel.com. Thank you for joining me. We look forward to seeing you again next time. All aboard.